dear students i will come back on the e learning platform of ktgm college and we began with the poem called there is a certain slant of light written by emily dickinson friends in our previous video we talked about the poet and her life and in the present video we will try to discuss some themes uh, from her poetry as we talk about the theme we come to know that the themes like love nature pain and suffering death immortality and spirituality are contained so let's discuss all the themes one by one the first theme is love since miss dickinson was among other things also a lyric poet her aim was to achieve a true fusion of thought and feelings she did so in a series of remarkably precise analyses analyzes analyses of intense pleasure and intense pain there are nearly 300 poems with keywords ranging from the worldly k to the celestial bliss and more than 200 covering every shade from ek sorrow to u it means pain indeed strong emotions occupy her most rapture and transport anguish and misery some deep personal experiences of love seems to have given rise to the ecstasy of her lyric poems biographers have tried to identify a love affair in her actual life in addition to fantastic conjectures there have been plausible theories linking her romantic attachment to men both of whom were already married to married and only dimly aware if at all of her hopeless passions but the external evidence remains unsatisfactory whether the problem is ever solved or not it remains a strictly biographical one so dear friends we have a second theme of nature the major concern of miss dickinson's poetry may be defined as the seasons and natures death and a problematic afterlife the kinds and phases of love and poetry as the divine art miss dickinson great spring and especially its first tokens with all the warmth of the romantic poet she was in poem 140 where nicodemus mystery receives its annual reply she insists a light exists in spring not present on the never was on sea or land miss dickinson's light in march has a color not to be defined <coughs> illuminative almost almost speaking and when it goes it affects us as if trade had suddenly encroached upon a sacrament then the third theme we find in the poetry of uh, emily dickinson is pain and suffering a large number of miss dickinson's poems investigate the nature of pain its stages its effects upon the human soul and finally its relations with death which is the final solution on the whole these poems constitute a revealing illustration of the courage of miss dickinson's soul the knowledge of pain become for her a touchstone for estimating the depth of a human soul no sham survived misery's terrible stress The poem I measured every grief I meet presents her philosophy of pain and analyzes its specific characteristics. So primarily, she notes that true pain becomes such an essential part of one's being that its departure causes a deeper loneliness in the soul. Since pain's intensity is relentless, one can never master it. Nor will you can hope that time assuage its power then uh, dear students we have a theme of death 
which is inevitable in everyone's life so as in the life of emily dickinson and in her poetry too there is an endless image of death in her poetry her poetic insight into the nature of death may be regarded as one of her unique contributions to american literature she wrote a large number of poems nearly 500 on the subject of death the poems show wide range of treatment of the subject from a philosophical examination of death relations with love to a grim consideration of its physical processes dickinson perceives that death remains the one free agent greater than nature and second only to god she has given a second place in our life after the god she regarded death as the great unknown and never ceased to ponder its fascination and mystery if death results in despair and terror it also brings rest and peace and it increases one's enjoyment of life and these were the themes dominant themes uh, which are used by emily dickinson and we also found in her every poems along with these themes we also have a uh, theme like themes like immortality and spirituality it also became another you know significant uh, point of her writing now the uh, dear students as we have finished the discussion of the themes of the poems then uh, we should go through the poem there is a certain slant of light look at the poem the poem begins with the the, the certain slant of light winter afternoon that oppresses like the heft of cathedral tunes heavenly heart it gives us we can find no scar but internal difference where the meanings are none may teach it any is the seal despair an imperial affliction sent us of the air when it comes the landscape listens shadows hold her hold their breath when it goes it is like the distance on the look of death uh, when we cast light on the poems of uh, emily dickinson we come to know that uh, there is a or image of despair and uh, there is also a religious touch to the first stanza and uh, she also tries to talk about the despair beyond the human correction as we are the part of the world or this universe this despair is not in our control we are you know just player and we have to go with this despair and in final stanza she also tries to uh talk about the 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 complete desolation of the landscape <coughs> and uh, as we go on we also come to know that she used the despair in a different way it means she talks about the quality and the 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 effect of despair she also you know uh, gives touch to the season as we have the season in the poem uh, the season 
is also connected with the despair. It means winter symbolizes with despair. And this is the the, the uh, significant identity of her poetry wish to be taken into consideration and uh, all these dashes makes her poetry completely different from other writers. These dashes used in the poem they also indicates the ambiguousness as well as uncertainty and uh, that's why she becomes the different writer and now uh, we, we, we have to talk about uh, the analysis of the poem then let's see what uh, what is the analysis of the poem